guys, this is Shannon from Skip to My Life, and on today's episode, I'll take you to my tiny backyard patio where we'll be doing some super simple DIYs in black and white. Let's get going. If you love to live an upscale lifestyle on a downsized budget, I am here for you at Skip to My Life. For our first black and white DIY project, we'll start with this Dollar Tree Flamingo. I will be honest, I think his eyes are a little bit scary. So we're going to be taking him from an ordinary flamingo and glamming him up to a black and white backyard decor. I started by sanding off the slick finish because I knew I wanted to paint this guy. And then I'm going to cut a hole in the top. Now this is very thin plastic and the hole is extremely easy to cut. The idea behind this is that I'm going to make this guy into a little planter. So if you're not interested in doing that, you could sure skip that step. But for the next step, I'm going to cover him in black chalk paint. Now I did end up going over him with black spray paint because I felt like that was gonna be a little bit more durable outside. But you can see the beautiful outline of those feathers. Now I'm going to replace that scary eye with an adorable iridescent jewel on each side. I will tell you that if you're doing outdoor projects, you really want to go with a more durable bond like E6000 over glue gun because glue gun just really doesn't stand the elements. Now he looks a little bit like he's had LASIK surgery. I wanted to cover those eyes with some painter's tape just to make sure they had the time to really set. And to bring in that beautiful black and white DIY decor look, we're just gonna dry brush over that feather pattern on each side. If you're enjoying this video, let me know by clicking the like thumbs up button. I feel like this little guy needs a name, but I couldn't come up with something. So if you have an idea for his name, please let me know in the comments below. You know, most of the time flamingos are standing on one leg. So I went ahead and bent one of those wire legs that comes with the flamingo and glued it in place just to make it look a little bit more whimsical. I have never really looked twice at these flamingos at Dollar Tree, but I am so happy with the way this guy turned out. Make sure you watch all the way to the end of this video because I'll be putting all of these black and white DIY projects together at the very end. My inspiration for this black and white DIY decor was this beautiful black and white striped umbrella and the black and white striped pillows that we purchased from Walmart. They've got some beautiful selections this year. This second project is a little rocker that I purchased at a thrift store. Now the tag said $5 and it had the word project on it, which I thought was really cute. It really stood out to me because it is sturdy as they come, but just very weathered. So I started by spray painting the whole chair white, and then I taped off that cane woven seat and spray painted that part with black spray paint. My second upcycled project here is a little bistro table I actually found on the curb and I decided to spray paint the whole thing black. Now you could still see quite a bit of weathering on the top of that table. So for my next step, I took some of the floral contact shelf paper from Dollar Tree and just cut out a circle to cover the top of that bistro table. I'm so looking forward to sitting in this little rocker and having my morning cup of coffee out on the deck this summer. I hope this project encourages you that you do not have to buy everything new. You can certainly open your eyes to what's around you in your own home, in your neighborhood when you're taking a walk or at the thrift store. 
If you're new to Skip to My Life today, welcome. And if you haven't subscribed, we would love to have you join our group. It's completely free. Now I'm going to create an ice bucket from this large pot that I purchased from Dollar Tree early in this season. Many YouTubers were talking about this one because it was such a great find. So I simply sprayed it all black and then I went back with white chalk paint over that rope pattern. And yes, I did paint in every single one of those rope detail. Now you certainly don't have to do this. You could dry brush it or you could just tape it off and make it into a stripe. But I found this process so relaxing. Because I'm going to be using this as an ice bucket, I really wanted to make sure that I sprayed a sealer on top. And this is the one I used. If you have a wonderful outdoor sealer that you love, please leave a comment for me. I've been searching for a great one. The white bowl is another Dollar Tree find and I simply put my ice and cold water inside and it fit perfectly inside the planter. This way, if I want to use it for a planter later, I can still do that. For our next black and white DIY porch decor, we're talking about a little bird house. Now this was something that my neighbor had gifted me with a plant in it for Christmas. Unfortunately, I left it outside all winter and it got really weathered. So I wanted to give it a second life. And I started by sanding off some of that finish and then applying a nice generous coat of white chalk paint. For my next step, I'm going to be painting some black diamonds on this white background. And I took some welcome name tags that I had lying around and folded them into fourths and then cut a diagonal line from one point to the next and it made a perfect diamond pattern. This was one of those cases of necessity being the mother of invention because I absolutely could not find my painter's tape and I wanted to get going on this project. So I won't say this is the very best way to create diamonds, but it is one way to do it. And if you're in a pinch, it will work. Because this isn't painter's tape, the line that was left when I removed those stickers was a little less crisp than I wanted it. So I did have to go back and straighten up those lines just a bit. And then in addition, I blackened the little hole of the bird nest where the bird would be flying in and out. This next step is optional, but you can certainly use this method for anything you're creating that you want to add some feet to. I used four lids from water bottles, painted them black, and then set them aside to dry. If you're a lover of McKinsey Child's patterns, you'll know that there's usually more than one black and white pattern. So I wanted to add some stripes down the side. And by this time, yes, I had found my painter's tape and I was able to do that very easily. Now you can go crazy. You can add polka dots. You can add all kinds of designs. This is a fun, doable project. And even if you don't have this specific birdhouse, Dollar Tree carries many like them. After I had completed my diamonds and my stripes, I wanted to add some little dots to the corners of those diamonds. So I spray painted some tacks black and then I simply hammered those on top. We'll complete the feet on the bottom of this birdhouse by adding a clear gem to the bottom of each of those bottle caps and then gluing it on to the bottom of the birdhouse. Now, the reason I put the gem in is because otherwise you're going to have to fill that whole thing up with glue. And it's just a lot easier this way. I have found this method over trial and error, and it is a really cost effective and easy way to add feet to any box or any object that you're using. Oh, 
I'll be using these black and white DIY outdoor projects to set up a nice little area for entertaining this summer. I'm hoping to have family and friends over for some garden parties and some nights out on the deck. The fun thing about black and white decor is that you can add just about any other color as an accent and it looks really high end. For our last black and white DIY decor project, we're gonna be using two frames to create a tray. We'll also be using two shower curtain holders and some aluminum from an aluminum cookie sheet. Now, all of these were purchased at Dollar Tree, so the total cost of this project is very, very low. You'll start by removing the backs and glass from each frame and please do so very carefully so you don't cut yourself on that glass. Next, we'll get out the contact paper from Dollar Tree once again and you can use any pattern you like. You could even use some decorative paper. If you're going to be using this outside though, this vinyl backing is really nice to use. Before you put the glass and contact paper in, I suggest you use some e 6000 along the edges to make that bond really secure. And then on the second frame, you'll want to remove those little metal brackets. With those shower curtain rings, we'll make handles for each side of the tray. And we're gonna secure those handles between the two frames by gluing on a strip of the aluminum cookie sheet. Right now I'm using my tray more for decorative purposes, but I do suggest if you want to use this in areas that you may need to wipe off or get condensation, that you go ahead and get some plumbing caulk and caulk around all the edges of this tray to really make it watertight and secure in case you have any spills. If you're a subscriber to my channel, I just want to let you know how much I appreciate you all. You guys just make my week when I see your comments. Thank you so much for your encouragement. And I was just thinking this week how lucky I am to be a part of this community. The question of the day is, what are you planning for summer? What fun things do you have in store? Are you gonna take a trip? Are you planning to stay home and do some day trips? Are you having family? Let me know below, I'm so curious. Before I added the shower rings with their handles in between these two frames, I spray painted those black to match the frames. And then I added E6000 and glue gun in between those two frames for a really tight bond. Now to set this up, I added some painter's tape just to allow that to dry securely. But again, if you did want a watertight seal, I suggest that you get some clear caulk and put that around the edges. I just love the way that this turned out. It'll make a perfect wine and cheese tray or a decorative tray for some desserts. And here's the big reveal, all set up and ready for a wonderful little party on the deck. so much for coming along on today's adventure. Don't forget, comment below and let me know your favorite project from today's episode. And if you haven't already, I would love it if you'd subscribe to Skip To My Life. Until next time, make it a great day.